Batch is done. We got the rail all set up, ready to go. Should we check if it's ready? <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. You with your man Swanesi and today we are out here at the DIY for another episode. I believe it's like 11 or 12 but I couldn't tell you exactly. All I know is that we're back here and we're going to be building another crazy obstacle for all you guys to enjoy. And we're going to be riding that new rail that we haven't even rode yet that we built in the last episode. So I know you guys are all excited to see that. Stay tuned, like this video and let's get some clips. It's time. Let's see what she's saying. Oh my god. Oh, she's set good. Oh. Look at this rail, guys. We couldn't have done a better job. And from the top, how's she looking? I thought it was taller. Nah, she low. She oh, low. Man, she forgot. Alright, so we can't decide who's going to hit the first board slide, alright? We all kind of deserve it. So, only one way to tell. The most fair way is a rock, paper, scissors. Ready, Noz? Yeah. Are we doing one, two, three, shoot, or scissors, paper, rock? One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot? Alright. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, -ho, let's go. Oh. I'm hitting it first. Hello. We need to make sure it's actually waxed because we don't want to stick on our first board slide. That'd be terrible. So we'll give it a nice, nice coat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a bit on the top too. Rub it in nice. Oh dude. yeah, G. Shout out to Noz, we've actually got a whipper snipper, so we're gonna get snipping. How do you fing work this thing, hey? Oh, look oh. at me with the big fing snipper. I'm out here. Desi the landscaper. So I'm assuming you plug this boy in there. Yeah, yeah, you push that in. I think I think you better go the other way, but yeah. You hear that click, boys? <laughs> oh, we're on. Oh, it's snip time. We're on. <laughs> so now that we've got the snipper, we can do as much landscaping as we need. This thing's gonna bust through it. Oh! Let's go, groundskeeper saw and Desi. Hello. I'll be more. We've done everything but the landing, so we got to get the landing a little bit. Hey, big boy. Oh, f hell. Look, oh. this thing's getting abused out here. He's treating it so gently, bro. It's like he's really mowing a lawn right here. Right, that whipper snipper actually works so much better than I thought. Shouts out to Noz for bringing that thing. But look, the rail is now trimmed. She's looking beautiful, good to go. We put on some wax, it should be slippery. So let's try the first board slide. I haven't even put my scooter on it yet, so we got to suss. Oh, she's butter. Oh, she's gliding for sure. All right, she should be good to go. Only one way to find out. No, expectations are exceeded. This rail is absolutely crazy. Honestly, words can't even describe how good that board slide felt. And the fact that we built this rail start to finish and it's feeling glidey. Let's stack some more. Oh, a bit in the dirt. It's a bit of a gap. Right, she's feeling beautiful. I've hit a few tricks on it. Just warming up, warming up the legs, all right? Getting the blood flowing, but I want to hit some 50 tricks down it, so we're swapping angles. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Bro just got tacoed on the rail. First stack of the day, first stack on the nah, new rail. Nah, he just rail. got tacoed, bro. That was gnarly. We've warmed up, I've hit some 50 tricks, but I just want to suss if this is good for a gap in. So this is what we're looking at for the gap in. We ride on top of this flat part, and you launch into the down rail right here. I'd say it's like a half a meter gap in. I mean, I don't know, it's longer than a 22 deck, so we're gonna hop on, see how it goes. Wow, back him up, back him up. Send in it. Wow, Nozzy got that. God damn, that actually felt good for the lip. Back him up. Ooh. Through the bushes. First try, FIFA. We got the 50 done. Come on, we don't play around, guys. All right, those gap in tricks felt crazy, but I want to see if we can go up the rail now. It's like, it's like the last thing we need to try and do, so let's suss it out. I'm just trying to think, if I go up the rail, am I gonna gap out to the side or land on the top? Guess we'll see how much speed I get. We'll see, only one way to find out. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, as you can see from the landing, the run-up's a little bad for the up rail. We're dealing with a bit of stuff right here we're gonna have to jump over, but I reckon if I go fast enough, I'll get through it. Oh, oh. so close. Going fast at that run-up right there, that's actually kind of scary, but we'll run it back, right? We got that. Right here, right here. Oh my 
gone. Robbed. It just went up it. It just went up it. All in a day's work. All right, that sesh went down, okay? Expectations are exceeded. This rail, it checks out. It's absolutely beautiful, so sturdy. We couldn't have made it any better. What do you guys think of this rail, all right? Tell me in the comment section down below. Come on now, come on now. I would like to know your thoughts. Front fit, front lip? Yeah, front fit, front lip. Get it, Noz. Oh yeah, you got that, Noz, you got that. Wow, Noz. Back it up, Samuel. Wow. Alright, so I've got two tricks in mind that I want to hit that I'll be really hyped on if I get these done. So I'm going to... Jesus Christ, it's crazy out here with the bugs. I'm going to surprise you guys. Alright, so that's us for the riding clips, at least for now. I hope you all enjoyed those. But now for the time that you've all been waiting for, and that's to build a new obstacle at the DIY. So we've got another one of those red rails. That's what we're going to be installing today. We have no clue where we're going to put it, so we're just going to search around the DIY and suss it out. So we've got the apprentice nos right here, the DIY apprentice. First and what do we have to do? We're going to move this red rail. See, the apprentice knows all. Alright, let's grab this one. Make sure there's no spideys. Put it down to that part. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Put the leg into there. It's, it's like, not going to go straight in. It's going to go straight to the concrete. So maybe we move, uh, I'd say, uh, let's, cut the, let's cut the film. All right, so me and Noz had a little look around the DIY and we couldn't find a good place to put the rail, but we came across this one. And I think we found the spot. Check this out. It's absolutely beautiful. I know it looks a little high, but once you actually dig the holes and put the concrete in, it'll shape up. So we're just gonna plant some rocks around the edge of the rail so we can actually move it away, see where we need the holes, and then we can get building. So we've chucked the rail to the side. We've also got a little pile of rocks and tiles so we know where the holes are gonna go. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff left over from the previous episode, but how many bags of concrete do you reckon we're gonna need for this rail? Well, last time we used about three bags. We got half a bag in that bucket, so three bags to be uh -huh. safe. We'll I'd say we'll get water. we'll get three bags to be safe. I mean, we got a lot already, and we got the whipper snipper. Shout out, Schnoz. We just need a few things from Bunnings, and then we can start building. So I'll see you once we're back here and we have everything we need. Uh, we are back at the DIY. We have just stopped off at Bunnings. We've got three concrete bags. We've filled up the jerry can, so we're ready to build, guys. So let's get straight into it. All right. So Salat's got the concrete bags beside him. We got everything we need. Noz has the jerry. Let's go. We got the bucket. Yeah. Hello. And that's what we're mixing with today. A little ghetto, but we're going to run it. As you guys can see, we used this bucket last time we were here to mix. Oh, it's dirty. And it's kind of, it's, it's built up on the size. Yeah. And I don't know if, I'm not a concreter, but I don't think that's good. I think we should get rid of that. No, nah, let's shake so that we're out just a little gonna bit. just going to crack all that side. Crack the sides. Look at all that concrete in there, bro. That's gnarly. Yeah, that. You can tell we haven't cleaned that bucket out before. Oh, now, yep. now we got a semi-fresh bucket. Semi-fresh bucket. A new load of concrete. Yeah, I think we're good. Today we're at the DIY. We built a rail. And now we're building another rail. All right, so we're just going to line up the rail one more time before we start digging. We've upgraded the shovel. No more small boy. We've got the hench boy. So we're going to be digging the holes a lot easier. He's been in the sun. He, he, oh, no. Ah, this cooking. rail's actually f***ing cooking, bro, from the sun. Oh, no, it's actually burning, bro. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Bro, I just sizzled my hands, bro. No, they're gonna think this is fake, but it's actually not. <laughs> I'm not I pranking swear you, bro. God. This is so hot. It's not. It's I'm actually you, like so in this hot. weather, you can leave your scooter out in the sun. You'll come back, and it'll be like that shit's been in the oven. It's honestly that hot out here. It's crazy. It actually shouldn't be cooking in the sun now. So hopefully our fingers don't get burnt. He's jumping on it. Ugh. He's his own jackhammer. Oh, bro. See, off the bat, big bit of grass, bro. We already know this shovel's gonna do justice. A lap, bro. I can already feel rocks under there, bro. You gotta get the jumps going on. Oh, they gotta get those rabbit jumps. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We're starting. I think this grass is harder than the other one that we put in. Look how much we've already done because of this big shovel. Look at that hole. Two minutes in. That's a big hole. So before we start the next hole, we're just gonna line up the rail to make sure that we're on. Let's hope we don't get burnt this time. I reckon I just need to dig that back a bit so it can kind of like sit back a little more. <sighs> Let's go. I landed it. Oh, oh, that's a nice clean Look at that. It's a whole wall in there. Dirt. Yeah, line it up. Line it up, see where we're at. Look, I'm sweating. It's so hot out here. I think that's about where we wanted it. That's better. We might have to dig behind it a little bit, just so we can get some concrete behind there. But for now, I reckon we start digging this front yeah. hole. I mean, we'll know more once we start digging the next one. So let's get it started. Since I'm on such a roll, I'm going to start off this one, and then we'll get someone else on the job, because I'm dying. Brother, look at this. I'm getting out the whole ground. Oh. 
You got a little plan on top. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Uh. Not even joking, guys. My iPhone just cut out because it's so hot. I just got a temperature warning and I couldn't film anything, but we did a little more digging, so come have a look. We're making the hole back a little bit more and we're about to make progress with a big ass rock. So check this out. There's a full stone under that jaw. Let's get that out of here. All right, this back hole needs some improvements, all right? The old jump technique. All right, you won't believe it, but the temperature warning came up on the iPhone again. So we actually kind of got to be careful. We got to take breaks, all right? So this is where we're at with the digging. Come have a look. We've gotten pretty deep on this one right here. I think we need a little more. And then the one at the back is actually looking really good, okay? This is the deepest one. I think that one doesn't need any more digging, but we're just going to do a bit more on the front hole. Bro, look at that. That rock's been causing me grief. See you later. Oh, that toe just f***ing pissed. What the f*** are you doing? Hello, toady. This just came out of that toad, I swear to God. All right, I reckon that one's deep enough. For sure. I think we're good. Let's, oh my God. Let's see if the rail fits. Take a look at the rail. Give a little pan. It's looking beautiful. It's a good height, a good size. So we're just going to start mixing up the batch and then we can get concreting. So what do you reckon, guys? One bag in one batch or what? One bag in one batch. All right, let's run it, lad. Oh, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's spilling creed everywhere. All right, in she goes. Oh my God, he don't play. He's losing half the bag out the sides. You know what I'm saying? About time. Now she's all empty. Nozzles on the water. Let me know if this thing's bad for mixing because we can crack out the shovel, all right? We're putting that over there. Putting that over there. He's mixing with this, that now. You can actually scrape. Yep. Is that better, bro? You can just Are you on now? It. Oh, Batch City. More water. More water? Yeah. All right, Schnoz, let's get some water cranking. Pour it, pour it down. Yeah, yeah, right there. Still a lot of water left. We're like halfway through. We're on. All right, so those wax stains are from the taco. How are you feeling after that, bro? My ribs hurt a lot. Oh, dude. Oh, he's bruised. So laps on Smoko. It's Noz's turn. All right, we've got a whole bag being batched up right there. We've got two left as well, so we've got two batches to go. So I think we've got enough concrete. I think we're done. I think it's looking pretty good. It's, Beautiful. It's not going to look as good as a professional does. I mean, it, come on. It's not done in a truck, bro. But hey, we're, we're out, out here, here, bro. We're trying. We're doing our best. We're learning. And, and it's this, time to be concreted. This is a heavy bucket of concrete. Yeah, what you weigh? Like 10 kilos? All right, batch is done. We got the rail all set up, ready to go. Yes, Trusty please. trowels for spreading. Let's go. Trowels, yeah. Hand one a nose. So let's go. Which we doing first, Des? We're doing let's do this. Let's do that side. All right, hit the pour. Oh, that's satisfying. Is that the whole patch in there? Oh my God. Whole batch, one pour. Poured it in one go. So we're just going to spread it around, see how much it fills up. All right, so before it dries, we're just going to fill the space a little bit with some rocks. So there's less concrete we need to add. Little rock in the concrete never hurt no one. All right, that's looking pretty good. Here's the trail. Ready to go make another Next batch. batch. Let's go. All right, what are we on to? Bag two? Bag two. Right there, second batch. Let's go. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Dos bag. Do you want to do the honors or should I do it? I want to do it. Right, no one's gonna do the honors. You can crack a bag or what? Yeah, no, let's kill that bag, Noz. Oh, second bag is done. One bag left. It's gonna need a lot of water. Oh, and the mix begins. Oh. Still a fair bit. Not really. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at Salad. He's got the jerry on the seat and the bucket in front of him. Concrete on the face. Bro, Salad be putting in work on that trail. That looks hard to mix, not gonna lie. This isn't even an over-exaggeration, guys. Two times while I've been filming now, and it's probably gonna happen for a third, my iPhone is just cut out because of the temperature. Can you imagine how our bodies are feeling in this heat if the iPhone is cutting out and saying, I'm not filming anymore, I need a break in the shade. Can you imagine how we feel? It's insane out here, guys. Oh, Salat, how are we looking? Good, good, good. Five more minutes, we should be ready. Batch oh, you hear that? Done. Five more minutes, batch two's done. Honestly, Salat, you've mixed enough buckets of concrete now. I would say you're qualified, my friend. Qualified concreter. Oh, dude, especially producing a batch like that. Teamwork Let's go. is the dream. Work. Teamwork is the dream work, boys. Good stuff. All right, since we got a whole batch in there, we're just going to get started on the last hole. Wow, that's looking good. Oh, yeah, good pour, Noz. Good pour. All uh, right, is there nothing left in that bucket, Schnoz? Good. Empty. Oh, well, that actually filled up a decent bit. Second batch is done completely empty. We're just adding some rocks to the leg now. I will pat it down with the trowel a little bit. Now we just got to do the third one. Hopefully we got enough. We're about to do the third batch, but we got this like bag that we haven't used for God knows how long. It's half set, but we're just going to see what we can do. I think this is going to be majority chunks, but it might kind of be good. Whoa. Oh, storm. Jesus. Look how rocky that is. So it is pretty rocky, right? Take a look at that. It's f***ed, okay? But we're going to try and salvage what we can. We're going to try and break it up before we put in the water. Oh, my God. We've pretty much salvaged it. We're going to add the water. It came out fully chunky. It's pretty much powder now because we've been breaking it down. So we're good to go. Let's so say stop. If I can mix it down a bit. Ah! Oh, brother. Look at my shirt too, bro. I'm done. We said we weren't going to use the shovel. 
but we've cracked it out, okay? I would say that's pretty batched up. Third batch, well, I mean, second and a half. This is from the old bag, so we're gonna take it over and chuck it on now. All right, let's go. All right, third batch is here. What leg should we put it on? Left or right? Left or right. I mean, you left or right. Schnoz is choosing. The back one? All right, let's go. Come on, champion. And this one's a rocky one. That should be enough for that one. All right, so the third batch was done. We actually salvaged that creep pretty well. So we're gonna bring this over and do the, the last batch. All right, what are we on to the last concrete bag? Thank God we bought three. Drop her in. Hell yeah. Don't Crack it open. Oh, the technique. Oh yeah. Wait, do we have enough water though? Do we have enough water? Pull the rest in and then we'll uh, hit the water run. Finish there, her off, Noz, finish her there off. There is still a decent amount in there. So it's not Oh, that's all she wrote for the water. Oh, schnoz, good stuff on the water run. Hello. Yes, yeah, that get mixing. Last batch, son, last batch. How you doing, Slap, bro? You hanging in there? I'm good, I'm good. I'm it's good. hot, bro, it's hot. It's hot, but we're in the shade. So oh, yeah. It's, it's a little bit better. Yeah, honestly, it's hot out here, but this little shade spot for the mixing is saving us, bro. All right, he's on Smoko. Noz is hopping in. Let's see if Noz is a certified concrete stirrer. Yeah, bro, I'd say that's a good batch. You would think we might need more concrete, but hey, we want it runny, bro. Should we check if it's ready? Yeah, let's check if it's ready. She ready? Is she ready? <laughs> she ready? <laughs> oh, you're great. Yeah. Oh, last batch. Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah. Posting up right at the bottom one. We're going to give Noah the honors of pouring Give the Noah batch. the honor pouring. of pouring on the last leg. The pour is on. Oh, the last oh. bit just came out. Yeah, we on. Good pour, Noz. Good pour. Good work. All right, let's flatten that out. Yeah, good stuff, Noz. That's looking good. I feel like the more we pat it down, the less air bubbles are in there. So the back leg is looking super secure and the front leg is also looking good. All right, so we've finished with all the concrete bags. That can only mean one thing, that we've finished building, okay? Take a look at the finished obstacle. It's crazy, all right? We've done such a good job. It's a perfect height. It's a perfect length. And we all got to give ourselves a pat on the back for this rail because we have absolutely killed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. All right, I'm going to have to call it there for today's video. I hope you enjoyed all the clips that we just stacked. If you want to try out any of the scooter parts that I'm riding on my current scooter, link is in the description, guys. You will not be disappointed. And I'm also curious to hear what all of you guys think of the recent obstacle we just built. So let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, with all that being said, I'm probably going to end off the video here. So make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn post notifications button on to get notified whenever I come out with a new video. And of course, guys, take it easy. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.